welcome to my channel children in last video we were discussing about the relationship between various thermodynamical parameters such as volume pressure and temperature in an adiabatic process and under various relations various relations the first relation relation between p and v relation between p and v that is nothing but p v to the power gamma is equal to constant that is p v p1 v1 to the power gamma is equal to p2 v2 to the power gamma now let us try to understand there are different types of relations you should study for your competitive examination purpose relation between volume and temperature relation between volume and temperature temperature that is v and t and another relation another relation relation between pressure and temperature between pressure and temperature <coughs> that is p and t next fourth one relation between pressure and density relation between pressure and density pressure and density huh? let us try to understand already we discussed the first relation in detail in the previous video now let me moving towards the next relation that is second one relation between relation between volume and temperature volume and temperature okay already we know one of from the ideal gas equation isn't it what is that ideal gas equation ideal gas equation from the ideal gas equation everyone know that pv is equal to n r t n r t huh? what is p p is pressure v is volume n is number of moles r is ideal gas constant or universal gas constant t is temperature right from this equation try to find out what is p p is nothing but n r t by v huh? so you know that this is called this is one now from the adiabatic the previous equation what we studied here pv to the power gamma is equal to constant okay pv to the power gamma is equal to constant we know that we know that pv to the power gamma is equal to constant okay now what we are saying you can say immediately in this case uh, if you call it is 2 substitute 1 in 2 substitute substitute 1 in 2 hmm? what you are getting actually we get 
we get here P is nothing but N R T by V this is P V to the power gamma is equal to a constant a constant now if you simplify here n is constant r is constant n is constant r is constant so you can write here t by v into v to the power gamma is equal to a constant divided by n into r anyhow n is constant for a given gas mixture of given gas r is also constant so it becomes total constant so you can write here t into v to the power gamma into here v to the power 1 in the denominator when it goes to upside it becomes 1 by v is equal to you can say it is nothing but a constant now you can write since v to the power 1 by v is equal to v to the power minus 1 you can write like that also then you are getting here huh? you can write immediately it is nothing but t v to the power gamma into v to the power minus 1 is equal to a constant a constant or you can club now it is t into v to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to a constant a constant this is nothing but one more relation it is the relation between the t and v relation between t and v or v and t huh? if you plot a graph if you take temperature along y-axis in Cartesian coordinate temperature along y axis and pressure along uh, temperature along y axis and volume along x axis here it is a temperature huh? here volume along x axis then you are getting a curve like that this is the graphical representation graphical representation Okay. Representation. Graphical representation of the relation V and T. T V to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to K. One of the very important relation. Okay. Now we discuss the second relation between V and T. Okay. Now let us try to proceed. The next relation relation between the pressure the relation between the pressure and temperature that is p and t okay let us proceed let me proceed in next page okay okay now what we should do relation between p and t this is three okay relation between all the relations are important while solving the problems of competitive exams huh? you know that either iit neat or je main or any other competitive examination for the entrance of your higher education right so all these are important it is conducted by nt a national testing agency huh? Okay, now relation between P and T. Again, you know children, here, what is the relation between P and T? Already we know from the ideal gas equation, we should proceed again. From the ideal gas equation, gas equation, PV is equal to NRT. NRT. Huh? Now, our relation to get an expression for get the relation between p and t so here the term v we should remove so what we will take implies v is equal to n r t divided by p call this expression one now you know that from the adiabatic equation 
what we studied the adiabatic equation see here this is the relation between p and v p v to the power gamma is equal to constant p v to the power gamma is equal to constant so we know that we know that know that p v to the power gamma is equal to constant call it is 2 substitute 1 into because our duty to get the relation between p and t so v we should remove okay so substitute v is equal to n r t by p in the expression p v to the power gamma is equal to k either there is a v right this v you should substitute n r t by p okay let me substitute that substitute substitute p into n r t by v to the power n r t by p okay not v p to the power gamma is equal to constant is equal to constant now what you can write here children uh, i will write here n and r constant right n and r constant huh? so immediately you can write here n and r constant okay then it is equal to k so i will write here p into t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma is equal to k divided by n into r again it is constant only okay it is constant it is constant now what i will do in this case I will bring p downside, okay, p downside, you can write it is t to the power gamma whole divided by, if you bring p, now here p is in numerator, bring that into denominator, then it becomes p to the power gamma divided by p, it is in denominator, is equal to constant, constant, correct, huh? is equal to constant. Now what I will write uh, in this case, you can write this this as this as you can write is equal to t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma uh, multiplied by 1 by p. You know that since 1 by p is nothing but uh, p to the power minus 1. That relation you know that. Correct? Huh? Inversion. So you can write uh, in this case. Uh, t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma into p to the power minus 1 is equal to constant or that relation you can write t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant this is the relation between relation between p and t is given by t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma minus 1 this is the one of the important relation what we will use in the thermodynamic adiabatic process okay i think it is clear now hmm? now uh, here also you can plot the graph in order if you plot the graph that is nothing but the temperature versus pressure temperature versus pressure so it is a Cartesian coordinate system, you know that. There are x-axis and y-axis, right? X-axis and y-axis. Along the x-axis, we are taking the pressure. Along the y-axis, we are taking the temperature. And you are getting the graph like that. This is nature of the graph. Okay. So the graphical representation. Graphical representation. representation of t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma minus 1 is as you got it no as follows so this is the relation between pressure and temperature okay now let us try to see one more relation that relation is nothing but the relation between pressure and density huh? pressure and density that is p and rho okay relation between pressure and density let us try to study that that also okay then
next let us try to concentrate the one more relation hmm? that relation is nothing but relation between pressure and density rho of a gas relation between between pressure pressure and density of a gas that is p and rho p and rho where p is the pressure rho is density okay same equation children we should follow from the ideal gas equation from the ideal gas equation ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt right pv is equal to nrt nrt then you know one relation what is that this is one equation you are you are getting that then immediately you can write here density rho is equal to mass by volume now if you substitute here volume is inversely proportional to density huh? if you substitute here what you are getting actually volume you want right volume is equal to mass by rho therefore okay where rho is density of the gas m is mass of the gas huh? and v is the volume of the gas huh? so you are getting the v now just to substitute the value v here here v there right this v we are writing it is nothing but hmm? it is nothing but p into m divided by rho is equal to n into rt n into rt okay so you are getting now what you can take that volume is inversely proportional to rho if you take from this equation you can immediately write since volume here uh, inversely proportional to rho so volume is inversely proportional to density density huh? pv to the power gamma is equal to constant huh? here what you can take uh, in this case volume is inversely proportional to density then this is called this is one equation again what you are getting actually from the adiabatic equation you know that we know that we know that p v to the power gamma is equal to constant constant from this equation because here v there right here v there here v there so you can immediately write what is v v is nothing but v to the power gamma is proportional to v to the power gamma is proportional to 1 by p v to the power gamma is proportional to 1 by p correct huh? that is v to the power gamma is proportional to 1 by p so here what you can write what is v to the power gamma what is v you can write it is 1 by rho to the power gamma huh? 1 by rho to the power gamma is proportional to 1 by p 1 by p proportional to 1 by p okay so what you can write here actually in this case now it is 1 by p right so you can write here p divided by rho to the power gamma is equal to a constant so you can write immediately from this equation what you can write uh, from this equation you can write uh, 1 by rho to the power gamma is equal to because what i have done actually eh? in order to get the relation between pressure and density first i consider the pv is equal to nrt gas equation from this equation you know that volume is inversely proportional to density so we know adiabatic equation pv to the power gamma is equal to constant v is inversely proportional to rho in the place of v i will write here 1 by rho 1 by rho to the power gamma and from adiabatic equation v to the power gamma inversely proportional to p okay so 1 by rho to the power gamma volume i substituted 
proportional to 1 by p. Now I will again remove that proportionality constant is equal to some constant into 1 by p. 1 by p. Huh? So what you can write here in this case now again you can write if you want. Huh? It is 1 divided by rho to the power gamma is equal to some k by p. Or you can write here in this case p by rho to the power gamma is equal to constant. This is the relation. I think it is clear how to get the relation between pressure and density. If you plot the graph, huh? if you plot the graph in this case, between if you plot the graph, what you are getting actually? Along y axis, pressure and along x axis, density. Along x axis, density. Okay. So, you are getting it is pressure and density. So, I will take it is 0 here density of the substance and here pressure P of the substance. Pressure P of the substance. Okay. That things you should remember. Hmm? One more things. So, so what is that? And the nature of the graph you are getting it is like this. Okay. Now, once again I will uh, going to explain what and all we learnt in this video, see here, various relation between pressure, volume and temperature in case of an adiabatic process. We learnt the relation between P and V, that is PV to the power gamma is equal to constant. Relations between the volume and temperature, that is V and T, and that is nothing but T, V to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and we learnt we studied in detail how to get the relation between the pressure and the temperature that is p and t that you are getting here actually t to the power gamma divided by p to the power gamma minus 1 relation between pressure and density how to obtain that relation also we learnt in detail without confusion that is nothing but p divided by rho to the power gamma is equal to a constant. Okay. Children, I will uh, conclude that video, this video now. Uh, in next video, let us try to understand more concepts on adiabatic process. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.